Well, <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. Um, so I just got done watching um, His Only Son. And I wasn't planning on, like, doing the making this video afterwards, but, um, wow. I just want to say, like, that movie was so good. It was so good, and I think it's a great reminder, um, of just the human experience when, you know, God gives a promise and it seems like it's taking a long time. And sometimes we forget that there's a process. And that the process isn't always beautiful. Sometimes you are suffering. Sometimes you are contemplating. Like, and also just getting weary. Weary in the waiting. I know there's many of us who are still waiting on the promise of God promises of God and there's many you know promises that he's even given to me and sometimes we forget that it's a process it's such a process like literally like you know I read read his story in Genesis and but there was still so much in this movie of emotion like, the emotions that we feel, the realness in going through the process. And I think it was so beautiful because, like, back then, like, they were walking to take over territories. Like, that's, that's real. Like, David was fighting real, like, animals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and then they're just... I ain't gonna make this long, y'all, but I think it was just a beautiful reminder of emotions, and, you know, sometimes when God gives you a promise and you tell people, like, they think you're crazy, they think you're absolutely crazy, until God is like, okay, now they've witnessed enough, you know, to believe that it's impossible and what I'm doing are just words or even, you know, he's never even said um, because they think you're making it up because of what it looks like, because of what the promise looks like. And then it's like, after God has done, did all these things to make it look questionable, then he's like, now, now's the time. Because only I can make it make sense. Not you, not your strength, not your might, not your power, but my spirit. And it is just, it was, it was really beautiful. Uh, the movie was worth watching. Every detail. It, it's the human experience, you know. Um, but I think, you know, the most beautiful thing is um, that they get to see his promise come to pass like they get to see that God is really faithful God is really faithful <laughs> he's really faithful you guys no matter what you've been through no matter what it's looking like no matter who thinks you're crazy <laughs> you know um, God is gonna vindicate his word He's going to back up you and your faithfulness. And I think that's the most beautiful. Is that all glory is going to be unto God, not us. Because we're fragile. <laughs> as tough as we want to be, you know, we get weary. And uh, I think what's beautiful is like even with Abraham. You know, he... He held on to just the word. And because of that, even in his mess, like, even before Jesus Christ died, and, you know, like, you know, they had to, like, 
sacrifice these animals and things like that you know before jesus became the lamb for us and so we get it even easier you know we could be like god what's going on he's not gonna kill us off and it's like i just i'm grateful i'm grateful for a loving and kind god i'm grateful for his unconditional love and i'm grateful that when he gives us a promise it's not on us <laughs> you know if he said it he means it you know once the words are released it's established no matter what it's coming to pass so just be encouraged everybody and happy good friday um it's a little bit after 5 um p.m and it is going to be a beautiful and blessed day for us. It is also April 7th, 2023. So again, happy Good Friday. And, you know, just sit on God's promises and just be grateful. Just be grateful. All right, you guys. I'm out. Bye.